Now, it's time for payback for Wingard Cottage, that loss we took. That was, that was nasty, that was ugly, I didn't like any of it. So now we're gonna take out our frustrations on Ratchet Lady here. Heather is going to be our final girl. There she is. I dig the, uh, the minus horror there, I love that. Big, big fan of that. Move one space, I like those two. Moving is just, you can just cheese things so well with that, right? You can just grab somebody and go. <laughs> I love it. All right, so let's see. It's only one though, so maybe not as great as having like a move two or two different moves. Sometimes you can really do some, some cool stuff and evacuate some people pretty early with something like that. We don't have that. All right, oh, and her special power is that, um, oh, that awesome damage stuff. That's right, when attacking for each five or six, you get to reroll one other die. You may. Um, and then add a damage to your attack for each each star. I mean, you could really knock some heads off. Heather's a beast. Heather is a beast who requires six saved victims. So let's see here. Oh, how funny. I almost grabbed the side effects card. So this is all good. Those are face down. Bloodlust at zero here. Well, at one, I guess. Uh, and then let's see. Items. Tranquilizer gun. Cannot modify an action. Must be used without one. For two time, you may fire a tranquilizer at an enemy at an adjacent space. So it's, yeah, one. If still alive, the enemy becomes stunned. Okay. This is the physician's manual. After taking pills, tokens, or drawing amped cards, draw an additional one. Choose which one to keep and discard the additional one. And then we have the scalpel. Hey, that's cool. See, we got all new stuff. I, I had a feeling that might happen mainly because there was so a very limited number. It was like a knife, a trash can lid, and and one other thing. I don't remember what it was now, but there was there was um, uh, oh the energy drink, I guess. The scalpel. When using the scalpel, add additional damage for every two stars on your horror roll. But if you roll no successes, then you take, I take, the final girl takes the damage. <laughs> oh no. Look at that there. So I don't I don't I don't know about all that very much. That seems like a bad idea. <laughs> so alright, I've got the pill effects card up here. It does get a little washed out from the reflection. I'm sorry. This is this is a a problem I'm sure made worse by my love of sleeves. Yeah, it looks a little better there, but anyway, I'm sure that come time. I'll just be reading it anyway. So there's pill effects. There's the scalpel. Here are our starting people. Remember, we are going to start with uh, two madhouse guys. What do they call maniacs in her space? So we pulled the doctor is in. It looks like Heather is going to start in the common room. We're going to put the killer in the doctor's office. So she is going to be with two of these minions. And then what have we got here? We have one, two. Somebody watching somebody strapped to the operating table. <laughs> and then this is like a little tiny, tiny hallway. So we're going to put two people in here. I'm going to stand them up so it might be a little bit more difficult to see. We're going to have one in this hallway, one down here. That's also a very small room right by the killers, of course. And let's see, two on an exit space to start. And then these two people in solitary. I don't think they know what solitary stands for. Now, I've also shuffled up these um, uh, pills up here. So I don't... I don't know, maybe we'll just have a discard pile over here or something. And we need to put them whoop, over here. So there's one in the operating theater. There is one in way down here. There is one in this weird little room here. And there is one way over here. And then we start with one that we get to know what it is. So we got a purple one, move one space. So and I, I ended up putting these in coin capsules because I didn't need the coin capsules for these anymore since I have the fancy ones now from the, the Kickstarter. So I'm using them for those because it makes it easier for me to shuffle them up. I don't want to get any of them marked. So that's, that's what's happening there. Okay, so I think we're good on our setup. This will be... Um, Interesting. All right. Event card. Scratching and biting. Whenever you save a victim, make a horror roll. If there's no successes, I take a damage. Oh, man. <laughs> These people don't even want to get out of here. Okay, well, what can you do? All right, Heather, let's see some, some magic. Now, I really like the idea, like right off the bat, okay, two things. Number one, number one, 
she's only got six hit points right now, right? So that's our, our best shot at taking her down. A. B. Um, pills. Drugs. Man, if we could get an amped card out here, that would be pretty cool, right? So I think that that's what we're going to try to do. I think maybe we swing in here and just, just go to town on her? What do you think? We need an item. So where can we get something good? So I like the idea of the scalpel, which is in the medical storage, which of course is way down here. Uh, I don't want to go way over here and then way over there. I want to bolt right in there. And in their space, where they all are, in the doctor's office, is the tranquilizer gun, which doesn't do any damage. The scalpel's kind of weak, you know. I mean, it only adds one damage for every two. Ooh, and we have a big... All of a sudden, there's a million things going on. And now we, ha and we, we start with a really bad horror uh, situation here. So, well, I guess... Oh, God, and these jerks come right for me. Okay, don't forget, we have the calm, cor calm card. So that's something that we have to pay attention to as well. Oh, my word. So suddenly there's a lot going on here. <laughs> okay, um, I think maybe our best bet is going to be... We're far enough away that... I mean, God, and they all move two spaces. Oh, no, the, the minions only move one, right? Let's see here. Location... Killer, right? They're one. They're attack and movement of one, and they only have one health, so that's less bad, I guess. All right, let's try to lower our horror because it's way too high for my liking. Hey, maybe ah, I'm missing a time tracker. There we go. Maybe we've broken the curse of the last uh, uh, map, right? We got two successes to start. That's a good sign. Okay. <laughs> All right, let's try it again. Let's see how well we do there. All right, two more successes coming right up. Nope, not quite. Although we could, and you know what? I'm doing it. Short rest, weak attack, goodbye. Because that's going to give us 10 time and drop the horror again. I mean, she raises the horror pretty early on here, but that's okay. I'm digging. Gonna go. I, I really like the idea of going into turn two with 10 points. So let's take calm for two. Let's take both distractions for six, and let's take a... No, let's get our dice done first. Let's take both close calls for the last two, right? We're not going to be doing a lot on this first round. We're not going to be doing a lot. And we, have, we don't need a sprint. We've got walks. We have four, five, six, seven cards. I'm okay with this. I think this is all right. All right, so now minions are going to come after me. They're going to walk one space over here, and then we have... This jerk is, is going to go... So the problem is, is they're going to target... See, they target Final Girl, the minions, the, the maniacs, rather. The Ratchet Lady is going to target Nearest Victim, and that's interesting because they would, they would normally default to where the most victims are, and they're equal. There's one victim one space away. I, let's see. So, are they considered victims? Maniacs considered victims? No, because it, it's a victim becomes a maniac. Huh. So, I wonder how you would do a tie on there. Victims become crazed lunatics. Maybe. Maybe we think that she would stay away from her crazy maniacs because they could cover more ground. Like, they can kill more if they split up. So let's say that she comes down... Oh, well, she doesn't even move. What am I looking at? No, she doesn't even move. She stands there and attacks. Never mind. All that for nothing. Uh, okay, so they're going to draw a... T oh, my God. <laughs> draw a... T what? Oh, no. Okay, so, ha, huh, you can see that. That's, icons are clear. So, one, two, horror. Great. So, my whole first turn negated, and I've got an entire pile of hearts over here. And first thing that she's going to do is go to eight hit points. <laughs> oh, dear God. Okay, so, there's going to be nobody got killed. Blood Jolta. Nobody got killed, and... And uh, it's our turn again. There's no up, no panic, no upkeep. Oh, my word. Okay, so that was awful. All right, well, I still need better dice. So these need to be two successes. Crap. So <laughs> uh, we really need it. So let's just re-roll the one. There we go. Oop, that was a six, and I flipped it. All right, so now 
That is plus two time and minus two horror. And that was free because I didn't do, I didn't reroll both. And so now we're gonna try that same again. Let's try to keep this horror low. I think that's what messed us up last time. Oh no, okay, so here we're in a little bit different situation. I'm gonna drop the close call, which is gonna cost me the two time. And we need two successes. Oh, that's even worse. Well, I can't let a fail go through on this because it's just so bad. So I guess we're gonna ditch, I mean, I don't really care to go anywhere. So we're gonna dump two walks for one success on distraction, which is going to give me minus one horror plus one time. I mean, that's, that's the best we got. And I'm gonna hang on to this calm card just because. So let's take our cards back, our freebies here. We've got four, five, and I have seven points. Now I have my focus is back, so we can focus on that next time. I think that we need to take a retaliate early on. That's going to cost us four. It drops us down to three. And then, God, for three, do we take an improvise just, just in case? Let's take an improvise. Not the best hand, and I'm certainly not going anywhere. Yeah, God, I don't like that at all. Maybe we don't take an improvise and we take a sprint. So let's take sprint instead of improvise, and our last point is just going to be wasted. Maybe that's what we do. Okay, so at this point, we only have four, five, six, seven cards. We're good. Let's put these back. Distraction. Walk, walk. Close call. Distraction and close call. Okay, so now the minions are once again going to target me, and they're going to come right to me. And then the doctor, or the doctor, the nurse, the, the, the lady, the ratchet lady is going to stand in the doctor's office and swing and miss. And then blood transfusion. Oh, no. Roll a die and place it at the bottom of this card. Three. Resolve this card again. So that goes down here. And we do it again. Six. Ratchet Lady suffers a damage. Hey, I like that. Okay. And I recover hit points equal to the number of dice on this card. I can't heal above. I don't have magical healing powers. So I can't do any additional healing, which is a bummer. No panicking. No um, anything else. No upkeep to do. So it's back to us. So here we are with our weak attack with these little morons in the room. But we also have Calm. We also have Calm. Ooh, no. Okay, so before we do Calm, we got to do some focus action here, right? we got to get that horror down. That's how you do it, like that. Spend one, minus one horror. Who's got three dice? Runs house. All right, we're going to do one more. Uh, you're kidding me, right? You're absolutely kidding me. Well, we don't need the short rest. We do need the... Potentially the weak attack, the retaliate. Yeah, I can't do it. I'm gonna just have to fail it. I'm gonna have to fail it uh, completely, which is minus two time. That's a bummer. It it happens sometimes. We just have to eat it. So at least we have three dice. So let's try calm now. Up to two minions in, in your space become regular victims. Let's. Oh, look at that. Two successes. Okay, I didn't expect it to work. Up to two maniacs in your space or an adjacent space or or yeah, an adjacent space become victims. So let's take the two that are right with us. Bingo. There we go. Look at that. We already have people we can go save now. Except for we can't. Oh, we can walk a little bit. Can we get out? One, two, three. Oh my God. I need three on this. Yes! Look at that! Sprint for the win! Okay, we can move three spaces and we have two jerks with us. So we can totally go... Look at this. We can go one, two, three. And that's an escape space. With It started with two morons in it. So we're going to take these guys out. Boom, there's four people saved. The problem is is that stupid card, this right here, scratching and biting. All right, we're gonna take these, I guess I shouldn't call them morons, they're just victims. All right, so we are going to do plus two time with the first one, brings us to four, and then it says, whenever you save a victim, make a horror roll. Uh, so I saved somebody, I'm gonna roll three dice. We got at least one success there on our five, so that's good there. So that's one person, so then another person. 
we are going to do move one space with that one. So we'll do a horror roll there. Oh no. Oh no. Well, I guess we get rid of a weak attack and a short rest to make that a success so that we don't take any damage. Okay. Right? Why not? Okay. The other guy we saved. We're Actually, you know what? Forget it. Let's just take the damage. Let's just take the damage. We'll take the damage. Okay, then we're going to, yeah, move one space. Then we're going to rescue another person. <laughs> I guess we're going to take a damage. That's this up here. Um, I guess we'll do minus a horror. So that'll bring us back down. And we have a third, a fourth person that we rescued because that was just too easy. And they got one success so we don't take a damage. And we'll just heal ourselves one on the little heart there. Okay. All right. So it's still our turn. I can't go anywhere. There's weak attack, short rest. I mean, I could short rest, I guess, but let's just hang on to it. All right, so we have four points. So let's take, we're in a search room. What are, where are we at, the utility closet? Yeah, with the physician's manual. I mean, I guess we take a search since we can. So that'll be two. And then two more. Let's take sprint. For zero. Okay, so then we're going to reset. I already like this map. So <laughs> that happens when you get to, to cheese your way into rescuing four people right away. Okay, so there's no minions on the map. Ratchet Lady is just going to swing and miss at nobody there and draw a terror card. Four o'clock, time for bingo. If there's no victims on the board. Okay, so there are. All victims move one space closer to the common room. Let's start with that. So this guy's in the common room, this guy's in the common room, this guy would move over here, these guys down here, this guy, I guess it doesn't matter, over here and over here, and then these guys will move in, and this guy will move this way. Looks good. What's next? Count the victims in the common room and do the fall. Oh no, there's two in there. So we take... Oh, we wanted more, I see. Okay, count the victims in the common room and do the following. So there's two victims, so plus one horror. Ah, you suck. All right, <laughs> I like my horror as low as possible. Okay, so nobody died, and nobody has any items or anything for upkeep, and there are terror cards, so it goes back to us. So let's see here. We have, I don't have close calls, but I have three dice, and three dice say I'm gonna get me a physician's manual. Yeah, barely. <laughs> All right, there it is. Three, one. Okay, cost me one time to take the top item of where I am. I'm in the utility closet. And so that says when taking a pill, token, or drawing amped cards, draw an additional one. Choose which to keep and discard the additional one. Okay, we're going to have to remember that we have that. Now, look at that. There's people right by me, and I have a walk. All I need is some successes. Just that easy, right? Happens all the time. Oh, there's two. That's good. Look at that. Maybe we can maybe we can do this. All right, let's bring this down. We can walk two spaces. We're gonna go. I have a choice to make here. I'm gonna go this way. One, two. So now I'm in this weird skinny hall with that person. Oh no, I lost my flower. It didn't stick very well. Also, just as a side note, whatever you do. Absolutely do not take rubbing alcohol and try to clean your meeple. You'll rub the paint right off. Don't ask me how I know that. Okay, so we're going to walk again. <laughs> Let's see here. Yeah, if I can get two walks, we're in business. If I, I mean, two successes. How about zero? How about zero successes? Weak attack, short rest? Yeah, why not? One success on a walk is going to cost us one time to move one space then. All right, so we're going to take that one space and move into this green room down here and evacuate these two people. We're going to heal one. We're going to horror minus, which brings us back down here. We flip Heather's ability. Wow, Ratchet Lady's not moving a whole lot here, is she? And she's about to get smacked in the face by, by Heather here. Okay, so sprint. I forgot I had sprint, actually. There are one success. So one success on a sprint. Costs us one time, but we can move two spaces. So let's go one and stop. Well, we could go down here. One, let's see, we're here. One, two. We can come down here with these people, and then we can spend one time to pick up a pill, 
which is yellow. I forgot we had those pills, by the way. We could have used that to move one space, but I, I really want to get some... Now I need a pink one. See, I need all three so I can get an amped card. Um, and then I have this retaliate I'm hanging on to for dear life. With my one thing, my one time, I'm going to take a... F oh, wait, physician's manual. When taking um, pills... Pill tokens are drawing an amp card, draw an additional one. So let's just take one out of the pile. Oh, and it's pink. That sucks. Because now it's discarded. Actually, maybe I will take the pink instead of the... Well, no, let's just keep... Oh, it doesn't matter. Um, that's, that's bad for me because that takes a pink out of the pool. So I know there's only two more pinks out here somewhere, and I don't know if they're here or on the board. There is that wild, though, kicking around there, too. Okay. Ah, dear. So, yeah, and that's a, that's a full heal here, too, as well. According to that, that's a full heal. That is super cool. Okay, so I'm done. Let's put all of our cards back. I spent my one point. Sprint, weak attack, search. I feel like we're doing better, but I almost feel like we're just drawing bad cards for her because there's no minions, so they don't do anything, and then she just she never moves. She just stands there. Famous last words, I bet. Okay, so give us our meds for each victim in your space. That's two. Do one of the following. Discard a pill or take damage. Oh, no. Okay. For each victim in my space, discard a pill or... So I'm going to take two damage? I guess I'm taking two damage. Okay. Uh, then we're going to raise the horror by one. And then... Ratchet Lady here is going to target us. Ooh, there we go. She's moving, and she's going to come into our space and murder a victim. One of these pill junkies here. Okay, and now, wow, look at that. In one kill, she now moves three spaces. That's why there's so few movement, because she can haul. She can tear through this these halls. Yeah. Okay, so she is done. The person in our space is going to panic. To two, where does two go? Into the common room. All right. There's going to be some bad mojo that happens. You watch. She's going to run into the common room and be like, you are mine. And then all of a sudden, they're all going to turn into these maniacs. Oh, dear. Okay. She has a ways to go before her dark power kicks in, though. Okay, so that was panic. I've got nothing for upkeep. It's just me and you standing in this room, and I don't have a weak attack. Son of a... Okay, so let's... I also don't have a way to walk. I really can't do anything, can I? I didn't I didn't think that through, <laughs> did I? Um, well, for the sake of it, let's do a focus just to push it down because I really want to have my three dice, right? I don't want to lose it to another stupid card that just ups it because. Okay, so we're going to lower that. It's going to cost us one time. So here we are with five time... Standing here with Ratchet Lady, and we have Retaliate. We don't have a f weapon, though. Um, we have Retaliate. So let's let's take let's dump Focus and buy Critical Blow. That gives us six points to buy Critical Blow. So now we have this. We're gonna take all these back. Five, six, seven cards. Okay, we're going to reset to six. We're going to put our two focuses back here. Remember, Heather's a damage-dealing machine. So I'm not afraid of, of Ratchet Lady here at all. I, I, I'm, like, weirdly just bold going in here, right? Okay, so that's us done. Off to her. She attacks me. I say, not this time. Have some retaliate. And I'm going to roll three dice. And then i got to... I gotta figure out what's going on here. Okay, so then, so that's what we rolled on a retaliate. Now this says when attacking. Now I'm not attack. I, that's so critical blow doesn't say attack anywhere on it. This is just damage. And if we look at the icon reference, it just says one damage. The word attack isn't like anywhere in this game. So I think by saying attack, they mean when doing damage. That's that's all I can figure. I move, you know, ignore all damage from attack. Right, an attack. Nowhere do I have anything on our cards that say attack. So is this considered an attack? I don't know. <laughs> I'm curious now if it's for some odd reason not considered an attack. Let's just see if the book has any attacking. So page 15, 
Let's just see if it specifies. When attacking, you must be in the same space as the killer, unless you have an item or ability that allows you to attack from range. To attack, play an action card that allows you to inflict damage. So this specifically says, such as weak attack or furious strike. Okay, but it doesn't call out retaliate. So I feel like retaliate maybe doesn't count as an attack. Hmm. If you have a weapon, item, or ability that modifies damage and the result of the action card produced one or more damage, modify the amount. If you have a weapon, item, or ability. Okay, right, but again, that doesn't say react in here anywhere. When damaging the killer, let's see if the killer's blah, 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 blah. Okay, so I just, it's, I don't want to make a mistake here and say that that's a real attack. It's, it's kind of different. Defending against an attack with a reaction card. So now, uh, some action cards have a blue background. They can only be played in reaction to an attack. If you have one of these in your hand while you are attacked, you can play it and make a horror roll. Depending on the result, you may reduce or cancel the damage. If using retaliate, you might even be able to inflict damage. It doesn't say that you're like necessarily attacking. Each reaction card... Can only defend against a single attack. If the killer makes multiple attacks, use more. You can never use reaction cards to defend against a loss of health from the icon. You cannot use reaction cards to protect victims against an attack. You can see nowhere in here does it say anything about me being able to... Like, I have a weapon in my hand. I understand my attacking back. But this isn't me attacking. This is me defending and, and just punching her back. I feel like feel like maybe that this doesn't count. So in any case, what's going to happen here? She's going to hit me for one damage, which I will defend and then just hit for one? I kind of want to hit her for more than one, right? And I mean, do I even need to like walk anymore? Or do I need to, I just kind of want to stand here. I could ditch both walks and, and hit, well, God, I might need that for a better card though. So no, we'll just do that. We'll, we'll defend all the damage. She only hits for one. I defend for two and I hit back for one. That's, as, that's fine, I guess. Okay, so that was her attack. Now she's going to draw a card. This is the kind of thing I didn't want to see. <laughs> Where did everyone go? Okay, so panic each victim in your space until there are no longer any victims in your space. Wow, okay, so there aren't any. But, plus two horror, that's not what I wanted to see at all. And then draw an event card. Oh, no! When I evacuated those other two people, I never did the horror roll, did I? No, I didn't. All right, hold on. So there's a success. I knew I would forget something. And you know what? It's in a bad spot. And there's a complete fail. So I'm going to take one more damage. Right, let me put this card down here so that I remember when I look over there. Uh, okay, so now we got Welcome to the Madhouse. Place a skull... Oh, no. Place a skull token in the common room when you when you or an enemy enters in that space... You or it is dealt a damage. Okay. So there's there's that. Okay. All right. So this will go here. Oh, that's a bummer. I can't believe I forgot to take my damage from that. Because at some point I might have healed it. I don't know. Oh, it wasn't that early, I don't think. I, I just rescued those people. So we're good. Everything is still on the up and up here. That's the thing to remember. Except for I'm almost dead now. Okay, <laughs> okay. All right, so now it is our turn. There's going to be no panicking and no upkeep. Let's see here. I feel like we should probably get on the... Ah, oh, that's a bummer. We only get two dice. We should get some health back here. So let's see what we can do. We got one. That is plus one health and minus one time. All right, and then let's do... Um, I mean, our best bet is to just smack her as hard as possible, right? So let's, that's a bummer, man. I really wanted three dice. Dang, and that's exactly why. So let's pay two time to reroll those. Two successes. There we go. Thank goodness. I was going to be very upset. Okay, so now we are minus one horror. Boom. And then we just did three points of damage to her. So when attacking, so her special ability, for each five or six, I have two, on your initial horror roll, oh, I re-rolled it. I had like none. You may re-roll one other die. Okay, so that was my, so that doesn't count because I didn't. My initial roll, I had to re-roll, so that doesn't count. 
Okay, so now I did three damage. One, two, three. There we go. We're looking good. God, I wish we had a weapon. Although we do have a third die now, which is good. And then we have weak attack. And since we're just going to stand here and beat on her, I'd love to roll a five and a six right now. Ooh. Okay. When attacking, for each five or six in your initial horror roll, you may re-roll one other die. Oh, it, oh, I didn't read that right. It said add a damage to your attack for each... You'd think I'd learned my lesson reading these cards now to double check them. <laughs> okay, so wait a minute. I had a five and a six, right? Uh, and that's exactly what happens is, is, is my brain says, oh, the initial roll was for the whole thing. No, the second sentence says, for the final result, add a damage to your attack for each star in the final. So did I do two more points of damage? Right? Because we had two successes... So we had this, we had two successes, which had to have been a five or a six, right? So if, so that was three damage there. Add a damage to your attack for each star. So that's two more damage out, meaning I would have another die for this roll now. So let me roll one more. Okay, that was also bad. So then this says I can re-roll one other die because I got one six. So I can re-roll one of these. I am rolling four now, right? Yes. Oh, that's a bummer. Okay, so that is now the final result. There's nothing else that I can do. Okay, we're good. We're keeping it together. So we had one success. So it's only one da- Oh, that's okay. I take a damage, but she- Oh, this is gonna be weird. She's dead. <laughs> She's- Huh. That is really a bizarre one. That plays awfully fast. I'm not even sure what I think of that. That's, that's, I think Heather's a monster is what it is, and she doesn't have a whole lot of health, the Ratchet Lady, to begin with. So there's, I mean, I guess that's it. That's, that seems kind of strange. I didn't even get to, to down any pills. Huh. That's interesting. Although I gotta say, it's a lot more fun feeling bold you know, than it is feeling like, oh god, I'm just getting beat down, I can't, you know, I'm not doing anything, but but like, having a plan and, and, and trying to execute on that plan works uh, like wonders for my psyche here. Let's see what the, uh, what this does here. We had a knife, a defibrillator, anesthesia, stun an enemy, yeah, we didn't get to stun any enemies, we just like chased her down. Huh. And I mean, that seems like the go-to plan, though, because she could get out of hand real fast. The bone saw, man, I want that thing. God. Oh, you know, I think this one probably has a lot of, like, high damage things, probably. Maybe. Be because she could get out of hand. Huh. No, maybe, no, I guess that's it, right? I mean, the scalpel is kind of not great, but that's too, the bone hammer's too damage. The, uh, the hook handle bone, I mean the bone saw rather, the bone hammer's two damage as well. Everything else looks to be one. Tranquilizer gun, knife, defibrillator, yeah. The scalpel is, it's like a half a point more potentially. <laughs> or you stab yourself. <laughs> okay, so that's, I don't know, that's pretty crazy. I really want to try this again, but I want to, I want to see more of the mechanics. I, I definitely want to see more of what's going on here because I, I kind of dig the setting here. It reminds me a lot of season two of American Horror Story as well. So... Funnily enough, what's that actress's name? Sarah, is it Paulson? Whatever her name is, she's an American Horror Story. She is in uh, Ratched. It's a Netflix show that aired in 2020. I haven't seen it yet, but it's high up on the list now. You guys, later, and do not forget, like, comment, subscribe, all that fun stuff down there. You can tell me how the game took it too easy on me this time. Look at that, we didn't even get through... Five, we got five terror cards. Wow. Wow. Speaking of, I always like, oh my god. I always like looking at, at those too. I forgot. When I looked at the, I got slaughtered in the uh, Wingard Cottage playing as Ginny. And I, I didn't flip these at the end, but I did when I was cleaning up. And the bottom two guys, one of them had one, one plus one hit point and one of them had plus two hit points. So that one was just, it was a doomed run. But this this one on the other hand... Was not. Oh yeah, look at she was gonna cover some ground here in a minute. Look at that. Man, we kept way too good a control of that. Like wow. <laughs> okay. Alright, we're out of here. Remember, games are made for everyone's recreation. We'll see you later.